The ish is happening next. Did Errol Spence Jr. just confirm a Terrence Bud Crawford fight? That's what I want to talk about right now in this video. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. What I need from you guys, S-L-C. That stands for subscribe, like, and comment. It's very simple, and it enables me to push out more and more content for you guys in the world of boxing. Reach one, teach one. Now, you guys see right above me, Errol Spence tweeted this out. Eh? Eh. On his verified page, he says, SHIT is happening next. That's all you need to know. Peace. Short. Simple. Straight to the point. The ish is happening next. All you need to know. Now, you can interpret this any way you want. But to me, it looks like a hint that the Terrence Crawford fight would definitely be happening. Now, the other reason why is because Errol Spence has another tweet that he tweeted to Keyshawn Davis, who's been, you know, a rabid supporter of Terrence Crawford. And he says, I don't need to lie to you. I don't throw shade. Your little cheerleading butt going to be heartbroken when I put that boy in the dirt. End quote. And he said a little bit more, but I had to censor it. So these back to back tweets have led people to believe that Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, hey, stop that kid. And Terrence Bud Crawford is going to actually happen. Now, there's been a lot of back and forth speculation. For me, I told you guys on the channel that I'm not going to look crazy in the end. So I was just going to stay out of the negotiations. There was a lengthy process. I have talked about that because I think this fight has strung out. The negotiation portion of the fight has, you know, taken longer than than normal. In my opinion, I believe that's per Terrence Crawford's side. And some of the circumstantial evidence to support that would be Errol Spence has had big events and big fights, and none of those fights have seemingly stretched this long in order to make them happen. He sold like almost 50,000 with Mikey Garcia. That was a big fight that particular year. AT&T Stadium, if I'm not mistaken, that was his first fight as a main event at AT&T Stadium, which is Jerry's World. And... It was a big event. That negotiation, Mikey kept calling out Errol Spence. I don't even think Errol Spence took Mikey Garcia seriously at first, but Errol Spence being the candy man, you keep calling his name, then he got to appear in that mirror. And that's what happened. Mikey kept saying, oh, I want to fight Errol. And they're like, you crazy. He was on podcasts and all types of stuff. People like, nah, don't do that. You crazy. And he was like, I see something. But no, Errol, I see something. Okay, let us see something. And then we've seen Errol Spence jab that jab and stick that jab in your face and, you know, rip vicious combinations and body shots and, you know, dominate the performance. But I digress. That's just one. He also had unifications with Sean Porter, 2019. And then he had earlier this year, 2022, a fight with your Dennis Ugas of Cuba, which was also a unification. So... Let the history show Errol Spence has not had problems making his fight. On the flip side, Terrence Crawford hasn't necessarily either, but he did forecast a bunch of problems with statements that he made. Like, oh, it just looked like he was going to be a bit more difficult to deal with, you know, saying that he wanted the lion's share of money and 50-50 or no fight, you know, things like that. Because I told you, the great Igor Stradamus told you, in business, the business got to make sense. And, you know, it is what it is. But I don't want to I don't want to labor on too long about um, the negotiations If Errol Spence is signaling that this fight could actually happen and they've come to terms and the issues happening next. Then I'm, I'm good with that. Let bygones be bygones. But I still feel what I feel. And I think when it's all said and done. That it is what it is. But I did tell you guys on my channel several times over that 
just to hold your horses. Like for me, I get money in boxing. This is my job. This is my business. So at the end of the day, I told you I wasn't going to speculate a bunch of stuff on like the negotiation. Um, I didn't know if the fight was or wasn't going to happen. There was a lot of it's just there was a lot of various things being said. That's how I can describe it to you. There were a lot of statements that people said and people were just reaching for the stars and make it literally it got to the point where people were making up to you know fuel content for Spence and Crawford people were making it up I seen it across the board so a lot of people are gonna look crazy when this fight gets announced because there are people that said they have sources that the fight won't happen and things like that me like I said it's business as usual make the fight announce the fight I'll support the fight it's a great fight Errol Spence is insanely confident. Terrence Crawford is insanely confident. So that can only mean one thing. Somebody got to somebody got to bend, fold, budge because when you have two Mack trucks speeding towards each other, you know, playing chicken, somebody going to have to swerve or it's a head-on collision. So it's going to be real interesting as a fight to see which outcome it is. You know, I, I will say I think Errol Spence is likely the favorite here. Now, you can listen. There's a bunch of former fighters and celebrity fighters. It seems that everybody is picking Terrence Crawford. But once this fight is announced and they get the sports book and we get actually closer to the fight, I think Errol Spence would be the favorite. And put it this way. If the sports book looks like some of the predictions that have been put out by celebrity boxers, then I will probably put money on Errol Spence if they make him a big enough underdog. Not that it's not a 50-50 fight, but some, certain bets, the odds are so good, you have no choice but to take it. You know what I'm saying? So I've seen a lot of lunacy when it comes to this particular fight. Errol has three belts, but some people don't factor that into their prediction. He's had the, the tougher welterweight schedule and all these things have gone unnoticed in some people's predictions. So again, if they make Errol Spence a big enough underdog, I'm I'm going to put some money on him. But other than that, it's a great fight, 50-50 fight. Can't wait for the actual announcement and the particulars. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, SLC. Subscribe, like, and comment. I am the best in the business. Hit him up. A lot of people ask me what I use to create content. Things like YouTube thumbnails that generate thousands of views. For the first time ever, the cat is out of the bag. I use Canva Pro. But Canva Pro is so much more than a YouTube thumbnail maker. Use Canva Pro to curate content for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, and a whole lot more. Flyers, flowcharts, you name it with Canva Pro. Click the affiliate link in the description to get Canva Pro. Many features, elements available to you. Take your brand to the next level. Invest in yourself. It takes money to make money. So sign up for Canva Pro today. Happy creations. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. 
Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work.